Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode 89 of Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. And why are you so loud? Okay, so there's one thing that I've been meaning to do for a while. It's the DNA extractor here, right? It uh, occasionally uses up labware whenever it gets extra drones from these guys. And turns liquid DNA, or turns them into liquid DNA, puts them in here. The problem is I didn't have a good way of like keeping the labware stocked up in here. And I just had an epiphany. I'm like, I've got phantom paces. I am an idiot. So I've got plenty of room back in here to uh, to figure something out here. All right, so there's my DNA extractor there. How about we just be like, hey, uh, you. Make sure I'm really clicking on the right one there. And we're just gonna put you here. Give you a whack. Exporter, crafting card, genetics labware. You know, I forgot this hole was down here. Oops. And let's just go ahead and not the cobblestone. Put that on back in there. Now see if I grab like half of these. There it goes. Oh, that's one less bit of animation or uh, animation automation I don't have to worry about. That is a lot louder than I remember it being. Much better. All right. When I upgraded the pack, my integrated dynamics, dynamics um, config got reset. So sounds that I had quieted down are now at full volume again. So, all right. And just make sure I didn't leave anything in there. Now, do I have room in here for, yeah. Let's keep that on me, or relatively. And one thing I started working on actually was the uh, dimensional inscriber, because I figured, you know what? I'm going to take a break from the wyvern course for a second. But dimensional inscriber. I need empty dimensional tab, four machine bases, draconic core, resonant self frame full, which we just automated that, and advanced inscribers, which are just upgrades to the regular inscriber, so that was easy enough. And then there's the empty dimensional tab which requires black iron rods, paper bark wood, and blocks of black iron. Crystal team trimmed, nonetheless. Uh, let's see. Yep. Can I make one? No, because I forgot to put the paper bark away. So what you have to do is make a paper bark tree, which is pretty easy. I mean, it's three pieces of paper and a sapling of any type. And you're done. And But the only way, really, to uh, to get this stuff is you have to silk touch it. So a little bit of manual, not much you can do about it. And then a uh, black iron rod, really completely skipped over that. The reason I thought it was just like a stick. So black iron rod, oh, that's easy enough. You, done. Uh, do I have any patterns made up? They're almost at the bottom here, aren't they? Oh, by the way, I've got a ton of recipes in here. So, <laughs> just keep scrolling. There's mechanism stuff. Extended crafting. Industrial renewal, RF tools. Actually additions. PAMs. Uh, storage housings. Ah, patterns. Look at that. I did have some. Sweet. And we're just going to toss this in here and give it a few seconds to register. And let's look up tab here, shall we? Hey, we're done. Actually, make two. Because I need one to craft the machine, and then the quest itself wants me to have another one. So there's our dimensional inscriber. And there's our empty dimension tab. Hey, and get a blue chest. With some BLTs. Actually, sounds kind of good, doesn't it? But that has now unlocked the Dimension Builder. <laughs> yeah, I can do all but like two things here. Well, three things. Indus Pearl is out of the question. Infinity Catalyst is definitely out of the question. Well, actually, it's only an elite crafting, though. That's not terrible, except for the singularities. Uh, which require 10,000 items. 
yeah, it's going to be interesting here, isn't it? So, yeah, we're not getting any further in this quest line for now. And let's see. Environmental tech. Structure frame tier 2. Void resource miner and solar ray tier 2. Okay. Accuracy modifier, speed modifier. Okay, I do have... Here, this stuff's just going to go away for now. Lag spike, go away, thank you. Uh, let's see, I got structure frame tier twos. I have speed modifiers. Um, can I craft like a, uh, like a piezo modifier? Quartz, launch delight, null modifier. I might be able to. Wow. I have no blocks of quartz, huh? Thought that would be something I had. Okay, I'm just missing actually. Rhodium. There we go. Make sure the quest completed first. You know, look great for that one and for this one. Tier two speed modifiers. Peking duck and a can thrower turret times two actually. Hmm. Those could be fun. But the unfortunate thing is. Currently, I am still waiting on a Void or Miner Tier 1 to, uh... Ooh, okay. To do some stuff. So, let's check on our fusion reactor. This thing actually got extremely hot and quit producing power. So... Wow, I ran it out of deuterium, honestly. Uh, active cooling rate, 67,000. What is your actual temperature at, though? 2.6 million, yeah, so efficiency is still zero. I ran you out of deuterium? That is unreal. It's helping it cool down quicker right now, though. I have got, like, eight liquid helium coolers on the thing right now, and, like, another ten water coolers going. Uh, let's see. Deuterium's here? Yeah, no, we're, uh, we're, we're dry. So. At nuke. Upgrades. Tell you what. Make like 20 more of each, would you? I've got, what, four of these guys down here? So we're just going to split these four ways, I think. That's my nitrogen, which is doing excellent. 81,000 81, buckets so far. All right, now it does have some work to do here. So... It's making sure the deuterium is actually going somewhere and it's not getting backed up into the uh, into the machines here. Looks like we're doing okay. Yeah, I just checked that thing like 25 minutes ago when I was putting more coolers on it because it wasn't cooling fast enough for me. And it's like... did not realize... I didn't think to check the deuterium. I thought I had enough of that stuff that it would be an issue. Yeah, we're going to need more. But it actually has some efficiency now when it's running. It's at 6% finally. Which means when it does kick on, we're actually getting a, a little bit of power. Alright, more upgrades. Alright, three more upgrades in. And what I'm doing now is setting all the uh, output slots, except for deuterium, to void excess. Just in case it fills up the uh, black hole units, or black hole tanks, which... I have done in the past, so uh, oxygen is at six million, hydrogen's at one hundred fourteen million. Like water's maxed, so hydrogen's not doing bad either. I hear a skeleton around here somewhere.
I keep hearing bat noises too, so there's probably a cave underneath me, honestly. No, not that. That. Actually, you know what? Here. Just, uh... Make me some more, would you? I really need to get this thing set up elsewhere. Not enough power. Hmm. Because this is showing 125,000 coming in. This is showing zero, which means it is working because this conduit can only do 125,000. One of the reasons I need to get it set up elsewhere. All right, so is deuterium even showing up yet? No, it wouldn't. It would be like right here if it did. What's our reactor doing? Hopefully it's filling up. This is, this is my hope and dream right now. Getting up to 600 before it shuts off. All right, what are some maybe faster ways I can make some deuterium? Uh, fusion reactor can. And electrolyzer. Heavy water. Water and an electrolyzer from advanced rocketry can make hydrogen and a little bit of deuterium. Uh, let's see, regular water makes the same amount though, okay. That's squeezing that stuff, okay. And then electrolytic separator, two to one deuterium oxygen. If I get into the heavy water stuff. So it becomes a question is to put the ore dictionary inside of here or not. But my efficiency is up to 15%, so. Which is 363,000 RF a tick. I, I think I finally got it. It's running full time now, anyway. And we are actually filling up with deuterium. I. God, I got, I think, 16 speed upgrades in the ones below. And I just made two more that have 10 upgrades a piece in them. And there's a water source underneath them. But they're pumping straight into this uh, Swoodo interface here, actually. You don't connect. So they're keeping it fully stocked at all times now. On top of the stuff I'm still producing down below. And actually, I don't know, because they were full of deuterium whenever I hooked them up. This might barely be breaking even. 92. 91. No, we're still a little short. Oh, bugger. Okay. So. Electrolyzer. Upgrade. I need. 10 of you and 10 of you. That can go there and there, right? And you're going to need power as well. Wow, still not done, huh? All right, so whoop. good news is it hasn't shut off yet. So we're going to go ahead and configure all these to void access. But these three slots anyway. This is deuterium plus your hydrogen, that's oxygen. Which we can see it building up now. And then we're going to be like, hey, uh, you can use that and that. There we go. Running quite a bit faster now. And then we just tell you to extract always active. It looks like we are actually climbing now. We're up to 4,600, 4,700, 4,900. Yeah, okay. We are producing extra now. Efficiency is at 56.9, 57.1. Okay, so it's still climbing. 
I mean, the problem is deuterium and tritium require such a low temperature that it's unreal. But we're producing 1.3 million R uptick right now. So what I'm going to do is, actually, let's uh, leave the water ones intact for now. I am going to take out you and you, since you're basically you're matched. And now let's take a look at this. We are at 17 that or 100% cooling. So I need to probably act a little bit quicker here because reasons. I don't want to get too cold. All right, that's all of them gone. Nope. Cooling is our temperature change is a negative fifty-two thousand now. All right, let's uh, I guess disconnect all the liquid helium and see if I can just get by with some water. Hmm, that was weird. Something in my background on my computer decided it wanted a front and center, but I have no idea what. So it auto paused the game for me. Negative 14,000 cooling now. And this is with a pretty bad water cooler setup here too. I mean, this is uh, definitely not how you're supposed to do things. So it's gotta be exact opposite of each other, but like top and bottom. So now where are we at temperature wise? Temperature change, 13,000 up. Okay, that's actually not good. Uh, laser wrench. Okay, everything's connected. We are at... Still a positive number, so okay. So then what would happen if I did you and you, like you and you, but we'll hook you up to water instead. That's right, I can actually reach that thing from here. And that is really getting, it's probably getting on everybody's nerves actually at this point, but. Uh, let's see. Oh, search. Thank you. Fusion run. Let's drop you to like 14%. It'll still be audible, but not oppressive. There it goes. All right. So I've got you and you, you and you hooked up. You are now full of water. Awesome. Temperature change is still actually higher than I would like it. What I think was happening messing with my numbers is they were disconnected, but the cooling blocks still had helium in them. Yeah, they're all filling up with water now. 20,000 and climbing. Wow, yeah, water is actually really damn bad, isn't it? Uh, let's see, can I just... No, I gotta actually mainly disconnect like that. That's annoying. So what happens if we go hook you guys up? Can I just do like that now? Oh, yeah, but it's gonna... Okay, now I have to disconnect it first. And I gotta wait for water to run out here too, don't I? Or I could kind of cheat a little bit. It's not like they retain inventory when they break. And it was these two. I'm trying to be careful not to break the ring too. I don't need that purple gunk in there, just like uh, blowing all over my face. 
temperature change. Negative 30,000 now. Frick. All right. Okay, that was the bottom on that side, so we'll disconnect the top on this side, maybe? Yeah, I'm pretty sure water's not going to be able to handle it, so... Uh... Stop. And what do we got? Still negative 5,000. What happens if I just take out like these water coolers? Maybe these ones in the corners like not doing much anything. We're at negative 5,000. Yeah, they do like nothing. Yeah, I can't quite reach from there. Okay. Probably get rid of that one too, actually. Just to try to get my numbers like as predictable as possible here. And I can actually add coolers in as I want. And try to get the numbers like down to a science. Yeah, I like this where it's still a negative 5,000. Problem is liquid helium is just too good. I mean, it really is. There, right now we're with... That's with uh, just two coolers, right? Oh, well. Oh, wait a second. That was the wrong one to break. Hey, here, you're good. Up here. Yeah, you're empty. And so this one still has water in it. Okay. Now you're empty. Yeah, negative 5,000. Temperature is slowly dropping though, so sometime I think it'll it'll start to even out a bit, but I'm not close enough to the temperature I need. Uh, it is this one here, deuterium tritium. Um, optimal temperature is 816 million. I am at 1.2 billion, so yeah. But now that we got the deuterium kind of sort of stabilized, tritium's fine. It hasn't bugged up at all. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to let this run for a bit like that, and we'll see what we can do in the meantime. But if nothing else, I have 16 active liquid coolers now I can do things with. Which means if I wanted to, I could like really ramp this thing up in size or whatever, but a fission's not going to compare to the fusion, honestly. The vision would be if I want to get some resources out of it. Now. Oh, nice. I got five rhodium in that amount of time. Hey, there's my piezo matter fire. Can be used instead of modifier cores in the sol solar multi blocks. It will generate power when it's raining and you can stack them. Cool. Vision and controller. Not bad, actually. I, I do like that. So, yep, nope. Then accuracy modifier requires palladium, which is a tier three. Ah, lovely. All right, so where am I on erodium right now? I'm at four. I can make two more structure blocks. Yeah, it's uh, pretty much hurry up and wait at this point in time, isn't it? All right, so we need ludicrite. It was... I think we do have pretty much Ludokai taken care of, don't we? Except for the Alamite production. How much Alamite do I have right now? Uh, 34. Actually, here, let's... Uh... Wow. 
Wow. That is not happy with me. All right. Uh, yeah, I've been putting off, like, trying to make alloys like that, haven't I? So, alloy tank allows liquids from adjacent seared tanks and melters, place above a seared heater or tank to fuel. Yeah, uh, let's see. Do you have some seared bricks? Okay. And then... Alloy tank is right here. So I can use pretty much anything. How about... Yeah, that works. Seared gauge. Gonna probably need two of these. So. And then the seared tank. How about a seared... Seared glass is a thing. Cannot store liquids. Okay. That's the decorative block. Seared gauge is the one that takes the least amount of seared brick, so that's... Let's just make like eight of them for now. And... Load of filters, let's get like, eh, 20. Conduiting. Uh... Ender fluid. I got 27. Yeah, I should go okay for now, I think. And maybe some crafters. Okay, I've got 12. Cool. So what I'm going to do is kind of a similar setup to this where, you know, we have Osgo Glass and Mirian coming in, and it goes off to separate tanks. Why do I have this? I completely forgot to pick up that flux point. Whoops. And then I've got the tanks with... How did I do that again? It's been a little bit since I've played this world. But yeah, I have them uh, storage bust. So, or external storage or whatever. But basically you do it like this. But instead, um, have the... Uh, have the system just keep a bunch of a bunch of it in stock, I think. Be the thing. Yeah, there's my external storage on the tanks. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, so we are going to now have you keep aluminum just in stock. There she goes, melting. Going into the tank automatically. You, my friend, now, you are going to be keeping iron. If I can even spell it correctly. There we go. Uh, iron ingots in stock. Same thing. Melt stupid quick. Now, the obsidian requires a melter. A magma crucible apparently can't melt down obsidian, which is a bit of a shame. So this is going to be like the slow part of this thing. Not much slower though, really. And then we're going to go here and because of the situation, you're going to have to pull. So, but aluminum is almost full already. Iron's getting there. Obsidian, it's being produced. So it's, yeah, coming into this tank here quicker than this can pick it up, which is kind of, kind of sort of funny. But if we go over and look at our fluid grid now, we should see that we're getting nothing. Hey, we're up to 39 buckets of deuterium, though, and climbing. Awesome. Why are you not... Oh, I know why. Got one thing. Um, fluids. Got to click those over to fluids. So now I should see them over here. Yep. Aluminum, iron, obsidian. We are all good to go. 
Now the next fun part is I don't yeah, I could do it over here. I don't have any refined storage over here though. I mean it's not a huge issue getting it over there. But I mean it's it's enough of a pain that Oh wait a second, I do have refined storage over here. Look at that. Oh, that's where I hid my resonator at. <laughs> Uh, I know I had one. I just couldn't remember where it was at. I tucked it into the floor. Uh, well, actually, this one's only making coal, though. So, yeah. Making coal for this dynamo here, which is actually still keeping up, even though the coal's not coming in that often. Should probably get some better speed upgrades on that. So, all right, let's go ahead and... Say, come over to here, I guess, with this stuff. But she does make it a little bit easier that I, I have the cable most of the way over here, so. All right. And I guess we'll fill in, fill in the trench I just made. Yeah, I don't think there's quite enough room for me to slip over the top of that. We go. And what I want to do is get some seared gauges. Maybe I should put the crafters underground. That would that would work, wouldn't it? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So one of the things I have to make is molten alamite, which is going to require three tanks. So. So let's go ahead and put our crafter here. And my tanks are gonna go above that. Yeah, let's see, there we go. And yeah, might as well put that middle one down too, I think. Seared, uh, seared gauge, aka the tanks. Can go like that. And you, my friend, can I? Yes. Uh, you're going to be insert only. And you're going to be molten obsidian, where the heck that's at. Not molten, not Nolten, molten. Molten obsidian from Tinker's Construct. That's what's made by the, uh, the melt, right? Yeah, okay. You are going to be iron. And molten iron. And you will be molten obsidian. Obsidian. Aluminum. Uh, molten aluminum. There we go. And then we're going to just have you here. Oh, not both of you. Now... How can I take, how can I form molten aluminum out of the, or alamite out of this? Ingot former. Okay. So, go ahead and go for nodes. Get myself a flat transfer node and how many ingot types there are? Ingot former. Cool, I actually had one. Sweet. You will go here. Right. With a filter, if I can. Uh, wrong types. Of, I don't have this one on AutoCraft. It's not a problem, though. It would just be nice to have it, I guess. And Halamite. I can't drag it across. Oh, this could be fun. All right, let's go teach the recipe then. All right, we're going to go here. It's going to be processing pattern. We are going to go for alamite. This stuff. Uh, like I so, right? Go to fluids. And it's got all the ratios in here for me. Perfect. Almost ran right past my door. 
Go ahead and... You know, while we're here... Uh, where did my cables go? There they are. Let's get you hooked up to the system. You can have that. And now... I request uh, Alamite at all? Yeah, it doesn't show up because it's a regular grid. Can I request it through the fluid grid? Fluid grid. Yeah, give me a bucket's worth, would you? Uh, speaking of which, I am actually going to need a bucket. I mean, like, go figure I don't have any, right? Well, now, that's a bit of an issue, isn't it? Okay, those are all filtered. So, I'm going to need a tank of some flavor. Uh, just one of these. Because you're all filtered on the insert, so not a huge deal. I will have to do that now. Okay, you have your iron. Right? I was really hoping a fluid conduit could just hook straight to the uh, thing, but really not. Uh, it says it's processing, but processing what? The thing. Because the other stuff's not flowing in here. It's not even going into this, so... Oh, hey, cool, it can't fit. So, yeah, you're not doing your thing. I wonder if I can kind of cheese this a little bit here. Uh, which one is which now? Uh, on the up, you are for aluminum, so... Did you want to go here? Aluminum would go here. Oh, bugger, that's right, because I have to put something under the sink for it to heat up, too. Hmm. Alright, I think I might have it working now. There we go. One, two, three. There we go. What am I supposed to get out of there now? I still have leftovers in here, but I'm not going to worry about that for right now. But I did a few things. Actually, let's just go ahead and look at what I did. So, it's your tank with lava underneath the uh, the alloy tank. I have an export underneath exporting lava into here. So, I mean, that works. I changed the pattern around so that instead of it outputting a liquid, it now outputs three alumni ingots because that's what the ratios work out to. I uh, still have everything hooked up. I only have a single connection to this tank now. I'm not sure if it's going to make a difference or not. But Crafter puts liquids into the tank, hopefully. And then hopefully it will do them sequentially. That would be nice. It's not like I can just have the Crafter output to here, because this thing actually has to pull from adjacent tanks. So. Alamite. Uh, uh, two doesn't really matter, right? Go ahead and start. And yeah, okay. Honestly, not really that surprised. Where is my crafting monitor? Oh, I need to cancel that one first of all. Okay, because that one never did go through. And then this guy, I mean, what can I do? Like pull maybe from the bottom?
Yeah, it just says it's processing. It doesn't say anything like machine can't accept item or anything else, which is a bit annoying, honestly. Hmm. All right, fixed it. So the crafter was having problems putting multiple foods into the tank. So I changed it so it's always going to keep aluminum and iron in stock and just add obsidian whenever I want to make alamite. Pretty simple. I mean, see here, 0 0.288 uh, buckets or 288 millibuckets of molten obsidian equals 3x alamite ingot. So if I go here now, be like, hey, uh, alamite, yeah, let's make us like 20, would you? Thanks. Now it's going to start pumping obsidian into here. It's going to instantly alloy, get exported up into this guy now, and as it becomes an ingot, gets imported back into the system. So I was kind of sort of... I just had to change the, uh, the direction I was thinking of, honestly, at that point. going a little overly complex when I really didn't need to be. But everything's working fine now. I'm not even going to bother speed upgrading the machine because it's it's still pretty fast, honestly. And I could, but the main limiting factor is actually the transfer node in between that tank, or the alloy tank, and the ingot warmer. But now we have at least alamite automated. And the other one I need to worry about is primal mana now. Primal Man is a fun one. Osgo Glass, Mirian, and IC2 Coolant. Right. I didn't have it. I do have a thing over here for Primal Mana. So how was I making it? Not. I think it... Hmm. Why would I have a thing for Primal Mana, though? Hmm. Well, mana does, but you don't... It'd be awesome if mana does just, like, melt it down into primal, but it doesn't. Transport with water. Oh, yeah, I'm making concrete with since that... Yeah, that... Because I was going to do the same thing for this for Primal, but apparently I've got a tank for it somewhere. Apparently I can craft it. I just have no idea where. No machine found. Gotcha. And then Mirian and Osgo Glass are going to be the same way, actually. Because I've got these set up here so that, yeah, they're holding it now. But I don't have a way of making... Making Mirian yet. Or the Oscar class. Now, Mirian... It's a pain. It is five things that I have to worry about. Glass, Cobalt, not a problem. Mana Steel is not a problem. Terra Steel and Elementium are a bit of an issue, though. So how are we doing on Terra Steel now, anyway? Uh, 60. Yeah, Elementium, uh, 300. So yeah, it's not something I can... I can't do the keep in stock thing like I did over here. Not with Mirian, anyway. Uh, the Osgo Glass. That is... Refined Glowstone, Obsidian, and Osmium. That one, I could probably do the same thing over here. Now, I'm curious. Magma Crucible. Magma Crucible and Magma Crucible. Okay, cool. So I might just have a crafter feed in ingots into a Magma Crucible and have it, it then extract from there into, like, these tanks. I just had a thought, though. Oh, that's a nasty thought. Do these things work if one of the alloy tanks is on top?
Uh, that is a good thing to check out here because I've otherwise uh, I'm not going to be able to do the um, uh, the one the Mirian. The Mir yeah, Mirian. Because uh, one simple thing. I'm going to need like seven sides of a six sided block. All right, so come here first. You go there. You need that. You can have that. And then we'll do one, two, three. And honestly, I don't mind wasting a little bit of this stuff. You. Oop. You. And then obsidian, right? And this should hopefully make alamite. It does. Okay. All right. Good to know. Good to know. Now that I've got some junk items in my inventory. You even kept your alamite, didn't you? Oh, no. Not the cable, so. Uh, we'll go ahead and keep the lava. So, but I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, next time, I guess we'll uh, get started on producing the other liquid alloys I need. But, I mean, we did get alamite done, which that is for... Oh, what was it? The ludicrate block, isn't it? Yeah. So now I can automate basically everything here except for the elementium. I don't have this on autocraft. All I have that coming in right now is uh, just by mob farm, honestly. But thank you for coming out. I hope you're enjoying the series. And until next time, sign signing out. Have fun.